Hey everyone, welcome back kids, Martin here, one hour playthrough and today in this episode we're going to do the quest Mother's Heart right, the, right at the entrance of Martha's Heart and uh, yeah, lots of things to do so let's get going Let's get away from the noise first There's a, a little bit of loot I like to get first There you go Oh, the drums make so many, so much noise. <laughs> I like that. Really nice. Alright, let's talk with Tap first. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. All right. Get a free Nora Brave. That's really nice of him. Let's wear this as well. Cool. Uh, I really want to have that one. We're going to get that in a moment. Let's see, he does have a free sample box for us. I'll take that other one as well. Um, yeah. yeah. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Alright, Deb, thank you very much. Really nice. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! <laughs> Fantastic. Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I will! But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. She's strong. What if a war chief in her? Yeah, if you want to hear all the stories, I suggest uh, you stop by and have a listen. Aloy, over here. Oh, Karst. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Actually, we do. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Hmm. Alright. So, um... 
Yeah, I want to buy a bunch of stuff and let's see. I want to have the war bow. I want to have the sharpshooter bow. And I really want to have the Nora Silent Hunter. So we have to do some selling. Let's see. Um, right, I need two of these. So let's just sell three of them. Uh, we don't need that, that, that can go, that can go. Oh. Lots of money. Nice. I think that should do. Let's give it a try. Oh, and maybe sell these as well. There we go. And let's see. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ooh, I like that. Cool. Let's see what we can buy then. For one, we want this. We need two watcher lenses. We got and two on the charts, no problem. I didn't want to do this in front of Tab. You know he worked so hard on this Nora Brave suit. So yeah. I'm sorry, Tab. <laughs> and um For one, I definitely want to have the sharp shot bow for a long time now. So let's put it over there. And we take the war bow. Cool, excellent. Pretty much ready to go. Let's do some crafting. Always happy to take your shards. I bet you do. All right, let's see then. Um, I'm not going to put modifications in there. You'll see nothing this episode. Maybe the next one or the one after. Why? I'm going to do some um, rare item farming. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, increase some capacity, shall we? The resource satchel, we can increase that one. I want to increase the sharp shell bow quiver. And I want to increase this one as well. Cool, nice. That, that should do for now. And we should have in our inventory some stuff to clear up. Nice, nice and nice. All right, let's continue. Oh, and we can, uh, let's uh, do that. Cool, Feel, feels good. Perfect. All right, let's can... like Oops. Cursed Karja are on her desk. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace, it's peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude Written Killers and slavers! Yeah! Sun King yeah. Of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold Luminance. your fruit! Nora... Uh, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit! Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Oh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Perhaps the Garja have come to make amends. Oh, no. Unknown devices? I won't deny them. You're wearing a focus. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. 
Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Real smooth, Erwin. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Maybe. Alright, let's go to the blessing ceremony. Let's do it. Oh my god, so many people in the way. Get out of the way. Excuse me. Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants! Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. All right, so for us, for my mother or for myself, I think for my mother, I don't even know her. Um, but Rost helped us so much, so yeah. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All oh, mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. All There's right. Nolan. I have some questions for him.
Hello, Owen. You know my name? Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Alright. Enter the Hunter's Lodge. Let's do it. Still quick save as well. Nothing less chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. This is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Confront, boss. Where's your right. bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? 
Because that would be a surprise. Brilliant. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. She really looks uncomfortable, and I think she really hates it. So yeah, let's go with that. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. And now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.